Well, what a week. A record high stock market. The Dow closing above 26,000 yesterday for the first time in history. Corporate profits have been soaring for years and consumer confidence is very high. But of course, the question is, what does it really mean for you? To answer that question, Dave Caruso of Coastal Capital Management uh, joins us now. Thank you for coming in. And My pleasure. Sure. It's uh, been a while. You guys haven't talked to me. Yeah, the market's well, been, been too good. The news has been good, but <laughs> people are not worried. Uh, we've seen similar rallies before to this. This one is certainly remarkable. Uh, what's behind it? I, I think we've, we had that 2008, and I was here working hours during the day saying, what do we do? How do we get out of this? Well, we've had an incredible recovery. And, and you know, think about the growth. It was about 1% for the last 10 years. And all of a sudden, all the worldwide economies, the United States took them down, but they were the first one up. We saw uh, India starting to move. We saw China starting. All of a sudden, it's like magic within the last year. We've seen all of the economies start moving in the, rex, in the, in the best direction. And in the same direction and that doesn't happen very often so it's a very positive sign I know people are worried that it's going to come yeah, back when you and see 26,000 people start worrying about a correction yes. they're saying are we in a bubble are we in a bubble uh, no we are not in a bubble just those zero numbers are the things that scare people and it's about this is a you know this is psychology more than it is anything else and when you see those zero numbers and it goes up in eight days another yeah. thousand points well that's because the markets are getting bigger so no I do not see that we're gonna have some bumps along the way but I still think the fundamentals like you were talking about earnings. Very good, very wow. solid. So correction still a ways off. Yep. That's good to hear. 25 <laughs> to 26,000 in seven days is, is something else. Okay, here is the other word that people keep reading, hearing about <laughs> cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, Bitcoin specifically. What is Bitcoin? You know, I, I see crypto scares me. I see <laughs> bullet, you know, blockchain. I see all the things. Blockchain is a technology. It's been around for about 10 years, uh, and, and there's no two ways about it. Bitcoin is the leader, but that is going to be a technology. It, it's going to work, but we've got a lot of bugs that we have to figure out along the way. So it is something good, but the three major investment firms say we're not going to let our people do it, but the exchanges are doing it. So I think it needs time. It needs to mature. It will be viable, but don't go play in that sandbox right now because we don't know what the games is going to happen when they start playing right, But for someone who's literally never heard of it before, yep. it, it's a currency that is just created, no government is backing it, and people exchange it between themselves. You put some stuff in a tube, you shake it up a little bit, <laughs> and then there it is. It comes out, and you don't know why. It's yeah. just like it's in a vacuum, and it's just doing something in there, and you open it up, and you peek, and say, well, I guess maybe there is something there, but I don't know what it is. You're saying wait on Bitcoin. Yeah. Yes. Don't wait buy on it Bitcoin. now. Yes. Okay. The big news today for people in Boston, Amazon announced that Boston is on the short list of the 20 cities where it might put its second headquarters. Yep. What would this mean for business in Boston? I think it would be tremendous. You know, they have 238 to pick from. We're down to 20. You look at Boston, there's a, there's a lot of opportunities. Now, I will say we're probably not going to be happy with the traffic. <laughs> we're yeah. all these. We I think we all we, that's the downside. That, but, but when you look at Amazon and the fact that it's going to gain, you know, maybe 50,000 jobs, $100,000 mm -hmm. uh, a year for these people, um, $5 billion. And I think Amazon is an absolute player. And I think it'd be great to have an Amazon East and an Amazon West. What do you think Amazon. really puts Boston over the top? I think it's our heritage. I mean, it comes right down to it. We've been here a long time. We kind of started over here, uh, went across over to Seattle. They did their thing. It's yeah. time for us to kind of get back because we have a lot of history. This isn't the Olympics now, like we were talking about <laughs> a few years right. ago. This, this is, is the real thing. This, this is continuity. This, yeah. is this is business important. jobs and, and, and housing. Well, Dave Caruso of Coastal Capital, always great to have you on. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you so much, Dave. And Eric Fisher now with our weather.